Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I am so excited for this week's recipes. I can't wait to eat them all week and to share them with you. So if you're excited too, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a meal prep every single Monday and I do upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you will find my recipe website. That is where you will find today's recipes and all of the other recipes I've shared here on my channel. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories definitely recommend this and for accountability i have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well links discounts to my favorite things and last but not least come and join our facebook group we would love to have you i'm really excited to start cooking so let's jump in i am making a sausage egg and cheese biscuit casserole. I've been making sweet breakfast for the last couple weeks, so this week I decided on something comfort food and savory. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need sausage of your choice. I always use the Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. Low calorie, low point, and they have really, really good flavor. You'll also need some jumbo biscuits. You could probably substitute for the smaller biscuits, which would cut down on the overall points and calories of the recipe, but I decided to go with the jumbo. Milk of your choice, salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. These are the best thing ever from Amazon. Super affordable and really awesome and easy to use. You'll need two cups of water, some eggs, light shredded cheese, and then a packet of country gravy mix. So the first thing I did is pull out a nine by 13 baking dish, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to take our can of biscuits and cut each of the biscuits into eight pieces and then place them in the bottom of the baking dish. You're also going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Once you have your biscuits into your baking dish, you're going to take your entire package of sausage crumbles and sprinkle those right on top. And then one cup of a light shredded cheese. Into a bowl, go ahead and crack six eggs. We're going to add half of a cup of milk, salt and pepper, and then whisk that together for a couple of minutes. You want to make sure that they get nice and fluffy and everything gets mixed together really well. And then we're going to take our egg mixture and pour it right on top. Into a bowl, go ahead and add your two cups of water and your packet of gravy mix. And then we are going to whisk this together until combined. Now you can use milk in place of water. You'll just need to add those additional points and calories. And the last step is we are going to pour the gravy mix right over the top of everything else. And our bake is going into the 350 degree oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. We want to make sure it is cooked completely through and there's no more jiggly from the eggs. I just pulled our breakfast out of the oven. I mean, can we just talk about how incredibly amazing this looks? It smells like biscuits and gravy. It's going to be so good this entire week. I will go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen for you. Like I promised in my Q&A video that went up yesterday, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below for you. I'm going to start including all of the macros with my recipes. Now remember, your macros will change if you change any of the ingredients, brand names, amounts, anything. So keep that in mind, but I am going to go ahead and start including macros with my recipes and in my what I eat a day. So all of that is here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm making Hawaiian barbecue chicken tacos. I'm so excited for these. They have a ton 
of protein and super simple to make. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need four cups of shredded chicken. I just went ahead and bought the all white meat shredded chicken from Sprouts. It is zero points. If you have chicken is zero points, there's only white meat in here and it is so easy and convenient. You'll need a can of crushed pineapple, sugar-free barbecue sauce of your choice, salt and pepper, any low carb wrap that you want. Your points are going to vary depending on how many points your wraps are. These particular ones are two points. I know you can get one point wraps as well. So that is going to be a little bit of variation in points and calories. And then you'll need a fresh lime and some fresh cilantro if you choose. So go ahead and get a skillet going over medium heat. We're going to add in our four cups of shredded chicken one cup of sugar-free barbecue sauce. That was literally every last drop in my bottle. And one cup of crushed pineapple. And then mix that together. We're going to let this simmer over medium heat for just about five minutes or so. The chicken is already cooked through and yours would be as well, even if you use chicken breast, you would have already cooked it and shredded it. So we're just trying to warm it through and meld those flavors together. Look how delicious this looks. I am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper while it warms. So the barbecue Hawaiian chicken is done. I'm telling you literally five minutes. If you struggle with time to meal prep or time to make dinner or healthy lunches, this is the way to go. It is done, it is ready to go. I'm going to package it up, I'll warm it up each day, quickly assemble my taco and I have lunch. It is so incredibly simple, that pre-cooked, pre-shredded chicken, complete game changer. So I have my tortillas. Again, I'm using the La Banderita low carb ones. These are two points. I'm going to add a little bit of shredded lettuce. I like that crunch. Mine's going to be more of a burrito than a taco because these are pretty good size shells. And then I have a fresh lime. I'm going to cut that up into wedges, squeeze that over the top. That sounds so good. Add some avocado for some healthy fat. So the entire recipe makes six servings total. So for me, it is two points because my tortillas are two points. It is zero for the lettuce, zero for the lime. For me, if I add avocado, I will have to count it. If you have avocado is zero points, then it would be zero points for you. And it would only be the points in the tortilla. And then again, six servings total. So I'll divide the chicken out into six equal serving. So that is my lunch for the week. Super simple, so low point and the perfect lunch. We have protein, carbs, and healthy fats. sweet treat this week I'm making strawberry oatmeal cookies I've been craving oatmeal cookies I love strawberries and that little bit of fruit and sweetness in cookies I can't wait for this recipe and it is a whole whopping five ingredients so super super easy so let me show you what's in our cookies so you're going to need rolled oats chocolate chips of your choice I'm just using Lily's chocolate chips almond butter of your choice I have to use my American dream nut butter it's my all-time favorite nut butter in the world, as you guys know, and I thought, how perfect would this Starberry Blast be? It has strawberries and vanilla cookies in it. It is so good. It is an almond butter, and it's going to pair so nicely in these cookies and just really enhance that whole berry flavor. Plus, American Dream Nut Butter is less points and calories than regular nut butter and tastes a million times better. I mean, so good. There's mix-ins and everything in their nut butters. You cannot go wrong. Small business, great to support. I'll link them down below with 10% off for you. You'll also need a couple of really ripe bananas and some fresh strawberries. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up some strawberries. We want about a quarter cup of chopped strawberries. I'm not gonna fight. Replay in my mind of you Things you wanna do to me Replay in my mind of you And your intention Like I said, our cookies are extremely easy to make. In a large bowl, go ahead and add two cups of rolled oats, your chopped up strawberries, one half of a cup of American Dream Nut Butter. You could really use any of the American Dream Nut Butter flavors. They're all absolutely incredible. I'm telling you, they are one of the best things I've ever discovered on my weight loss journey is the American Dream Nut Butter. And then lastly, I did smash up those two ripe bananas. There's no added sugar in this recipe. Our sweetness is coming naturally from the bananas. So we're going to mix all of that together. 
Then we're going to fold in our 200 Lily's chocolate chips and fold those in. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I can smell the nut butter, the strawberries, the chocolate. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be incredible. Onto a parchment lined baking sheet, we're going to scoop out 16 cookies. And then we're just going to take our hand and form them into a cookie shape. We don't have any baking powder or baking soda in these, so they would just be, the end cookie would just be the glob of the cookie dough if you didn't push it into more of a cookie shape. Our cookies are going into a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown on the edges. All right, our cookies are out of the oven. These also smell incredible, very chocolatey, strawberry. They look really good. I mean, look how good size these are. And you can see all the chunks of strawberry and chocolate chips. These are nice, healthy cookies. Like I said, we added no flour. We added zero sugar other than what naturally comes in bananas. So really healthy option for a cookie. Five ingredients. You can't beat it. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I shared with you. Like I said, I can't wait to eat these all week long. And the recipes are on my website, which is down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come over and join us there. Of course, we'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you enjoyed today's meal prep, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.